Welcome to AR-124 Radio. Today, we have crap on the bench. We have a tape measure. We have a wire stripper slash crimper. We have a small needle nose pliers. We have another wire clipper stripper side cutter thing. We have ring connectors. We have drill bits. We have an atrocious CB mirror mount. We have 500 feet spool of copper wire. And we have a drill. What is it that I'm going to do today, you might ask? Stick around to find out. Okay. Now that we've moved everything out front here, you can see we're going to take a look at this 8 hops, 8 ass, or whatever. 120 antenna, which is a product by Yezu. It is a loaded screwdriver style antenna. So this will extend and retract as necessary to tune the antenna. It's supposedly like an 80 through 2 meter or 70 centimeter antenna. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea. But mainly today, we're going to take this antenna and we are going to try to assemble a semi-decent radial kit for this because it is very important that you have some type of ground system with this antenna otherwise you will have a time trying to get this antenna tuned especially using the internal tuning mechanism of the Yaesu FT857 and what other HF radios that this is compatible with. So let's go ahead and take a look here what we need. I have read somewhere or I dreamt this up but I'm going to say about eight eight foot radials might get us about what we need. I'm hoping to be able to use this antenna as another portable option in my radio backpack kit but we'll see how it goes. If I have to use more than eight radials it's pretty much garbage for that because you don't want the extra weight and the extra wire in your backpack. So we'll see what eight radials at eight foot a piece give us and we'll go from there. Okay, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to take this umbrella stand as you saw in some of the previous footage and we're going to take this mirror mount uh, style attachment we're just going to clamp this on here temporarily to use as a fixture while we test our results I guess do you test results or do you get results hmm. we'll find out today all right had to switch this out just a little bit uh, this is a little bit too big for the mirror mount to uh, attach around. So I swapped it out for a little bit smaller pipe here. A piece of copper pipe that um, may or may not work. But we're going to try it anyway because that's what we do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, now that I've got this connected on there. I have this bulkhead SO239 that I'm just going to slide up in through here and then the antenna will screw up on top of that because if you look at the bottom of this antenna it has that style connection. So we'll just screw that on there and then uh, it should be firmly mounted to that mount. Okay, and just like that, we've got the nut mounted on there. This is firmly on there. And we have our ATOS 120 Yesu and Tim. And we've just kind of got it in the umbrella stand right there. So what the plan is, is to measure out our ground radials and then bore out those ring connectors just a little bit so that we can slide them behind each one of these bolts on this side. So hopefully we can get that taken care of and then we'll just mount probably two pairs or maybe put 
four strands of wire on each ring connector and then we'll have just two of them off of each of those bolts. And we'll see how that tunes up. All right, so I've got all, I've got a set of four radials here, all eight foot long. I'm just gonna solder them all together and then put them in one ring connector. That's what we're gonna do here next. If I can get the solder to take on this. Okay, that's fairly good. Just smash it a little bit so that it fits in the doggone doohickey wrench here. Not probably won't, but that's alright, we'll make it fit. It'll fit with some effort. First one down, one to go. Looks perfect. Second one, a little better. I can actually thread this one in there. That's how good it is. All right, got them both done. Let's see how they work. And this is why I hate especially for pork. It takes it six years to get on the air. All I'm gonna say is if you're gonna put one of these antennas up for your activation, you better frickin' be staying a while. Oh my god. That's in there. Let's see how it works. All right, now to tune this thing. Here we go. Whoa, it's not good. I know that. I'll turn that off. <clears throat> Let's see uh, how bad it gets here. You know, I'm just pushing the antenna up, and maybe by some miraculous grace it will get better, but I doubt it. I don't think it's gonna get better. Well, it just went down a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. That's as good as it gets. No. That's it. That's as good as it gets with this awful thing. All right, so I tried shifting the radials just a little bit to even them out. Still didn't work on 40 meter. Um, so instead, I'll just switch bands, and uh, as you can hear, the static is a lot better. And on AM with a 5 watt carrier, we have a zero SWR. So it did tune up, and as you can see, the SWR will go up when I tune it. There we go.
go. So just a wee tiny tad of SWR. Ever so slightly on the meter. But there it goes. Away. So, uh, we'll see if we can make a contact or two. Portable. Uh, portable. Uh, I've got you a, uh, about a 5.7 into central Indiana. Damn! Goodbye. Copy the 5.7 into Indiana. Uh, you're about 5.9, 59 into Arkansas, Alfa Romeo. I actually just uh, finished putting up a uh, ADOS uh, 120 Yesu screwdriver antenna. I finished the radial kit and thought I'd uh, find a station to test with. So I uh, found you on the band. You're loud and clear, so I thought I'd give you a shout. Uh, you're sounding good down here in central Arkansas. Go ahead. Well, thanks very much, and uh, yeah, it sounds like you're uh, you're you're ATOS is doing a good job for you there. So yeah, my goodness, uh, well yeah, sure to uh, check out our QRZ page. What's uh, what we're doing here, and uh, how to get a QSL card from us. So all the best, and you take care from Whiskey Nine India Mike Sierra, Beth Seven Three. All right, Whiskey Nine India Mike Sierra, appreciate the contact seventy three, and uh, I'll definitely uh, check out the QRZ page. Seventy three, Ron, you were ten over there on the last go around. We're going to be QRT. Uh, just one more. Uh, speaking of signal reports, uh, can I get one on this one? Uh, here in Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas, Ron, you're going to be QRT. Uh, Arkansas, Ron, you're going to be QRT. Uh, Arkansas, Ron, you're going to be QRT. We're picking you up with a two wavelength long center bed zip up at 50 feet. Okay, copy that. Copy the S9. Yeah, you're uh, you're about 10 over, 10 over here into central Arkansas. I'm just using the Yaesu FT857 on uh, battery powered, uh, about 35 watts, and running that into an ATOS uh, 120 antenna. It's a screwdriver antenna. So, just got it finished uh, setting up, and uh, just thought I'd get a signal report here quick. Go ahead. You're using ATAS 120. Yes, exactly. It's uh, mounted about uh, four feet off the ground. That is absolutely amazing. Congratulations. You've done well, Pilgrim. And, uh, I'll let you go. Anyway, I uh, appreciate the comeback. Portable. All right, bye-bye. Keep the key. Uh, we're QRT. All right, 73. There we go. Bada-bing, bada-boom. So, as you can see, <clears throat> this thing works quite well. Uh, Puerto Rico, uh, not Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, that's right. Costa Rica, Vancouver, I think I talked to Colorado, um, Georgia, Florida, uh, New Mexico, several contacts, all with actually very decent signals. 5.9, uh, 5.7, a five, five, couple of uh, lower signal reports just because the band was switching around, but. Uh, definitely a very usable antenna so overall eight radials eight feet long will get you 20 through 10 meter basically this antenna will cover 20 through 10 meter very easily will tune it up to a flat match um, probably gonna end up making another radial kit to add to this for uh, 7 megahertz and 3 megahertz, so 40 and 80 meters respectively. And uh, with that, I think it'll be a pretty uh, good antenna. Should I add this to the portable kit, or do you think it's going to be too cumbersome? Definitely not the base. I would have to get some type of stake to ground mount this. <coughs> but tell me what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. This is AR-124 Radio. Thanks for watching.